date, Bosco Piper UK, 1st of July. And before I forget, I want to wish all of our brothers and sisters on the leaf over the pond in the US of A a happy Independence Day. Thanks for running out on us. Just kidding. Hope everybody has a great holiday weekend. Okay, so uh, housekeeping. Um, this is a Guard Hill pipe, I believe it's French. I haven't done a huge amount of research on it. I bought this on eBay, an estate pipe. Um, in, I actually think it's new. It, it's in fantastic condition. There was only one issue with it. Well, two issues. Uh, one issue is that the uh, the stem was loose. Uh, literally, if I held it like that, it would drop, the bowl would drop off. It was extremely loose. So I've um, warmed up the uh, tenon and expanded it a little bit, so it's uh, it's holding now. Um, I hope it will be good enough. If not, I might have to get somebody to look at it. And uh, the other issue I had with it was there's a fair amount of uh, filling on it, but um, otherwise it's a beautiful pipe. And um, I did actually speak to the seller, and he was kind enough to agree to a part refund because of the problems that I've got with it. It wouldn't have been worthwhile sending it back to the USA. So, all in all, as long as it uh, manages to hold over there, it would have been a worthwhile exercise. Lovely looking pipe, it's got some great grain, interesting shape on the stummel. Looks like a hull of a boat. It's got some lovely grain, some lovely bird's eye on the base, on the stummel and the shank and straight grain everywhere rising up from that bird's eye really really nice pipe very happy with it and it smokes very well as well i'm smoking some buzzwell's chocolate cream so what do we want to talk about well on my table the eagle-eyed amongst you would not have been able, able to help your eyes being drawn to that Yeah, it's a bag of Penzance. Now, um, I've got a, a jar there, which is the previous bag that I had, which I've uh, jarred up. Um, I've actually given away more of this than I've actually used myself. I would say from the eight ounces, I've got about three ounces left if I'm lucky. I've given the rest, most of it away. I've, I've only had a few bowls out of it. But you know, I see so many people online saying how difficult it is to get, how they haven't been able to get it. And uh, so I've been happy to share it with a few people. Obviously, there's a limit to, to you know, I can't just send it to everybody. Um, this bag is not being, is going into my cellar, I'm not opening it. But the purpose of this um, video is really to give some encouragement to those people who want to get it and haven't managed so far. Now, I've seen a very common comment people make is that they'll go to tobacco pipes or they'll go to for noggin or whichever websites it is, I'm sure there's plenty of websites, where they give you the option putting your email address on a particular product and when it comes back in stock it'll automatically send you an email to say it's back in stock. I did that about uh, six, seven months ago. Um, I think it was with tobaccopipes.com and I was trying to, at the time, to get some cult Blood Red Moon and for whatever reason it was in short supply at the time. I think it's fairly easy to get now but at that particular time it was at the end of a run and um, everybody was out of stock so I put my email address on there and um, they must have got a small delivery in I got the email by the time I got onto I don't remember how long it was between getting the email and getting on site but once I was on site it was already out of stock so they, it was obviously a small shipment but nevertheless the point I want to make is is that unless you're super fast especially with something like Penzance um, or Stonehaven that kind of thing by the time you get on there, they're going to be gone, for the most part. So, what is the solution? What advice can one give for people who are trying to get it, have been trying to get it? I've seen people online saying they've been trying for a year and a half, two years, and they haven't managed. So, um, firstly, obviously, it will require some effort, but my best advice is obviously put your email addresses on those websites, of course. There's no harm in doing it, and sometimes you'll get lucky. And... Besides for Penzance, Esoterica have a decent range. All of their tobaccos are fantastic. Um, Margate, although it's not in flake form, um, it's in uh, ribbon cut, um, it's, 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 it's a fantastic English blend. 
and I would not discourage anybody from getting that. It's, it's a fantastic um, tobacco and the price is fantastic, it's not expensive. Um, so if you can get that, that tends to stay in stock longer than Penzance and Stonehaven. Um, what I you also might want to try is um, some J.F. Germain um, blends. J.F. Germain make Esoterica, but they also have run some on their own name. So you could try, um, let me just get some actually, I've got some in my box here, in my cellar. So this is Germain's special Atakir flake, and that is Penzance. Now you can see it's identical. The blend is not identical, and there are differences. I've made a video of it in the past. If you look through my channel, you, uh, I've done a comparison. The Penzance is a is most definitely, in fact, I should have, I should have some in a jar somewhere. Sorry, just bear with me a sec. It's a bit of a mystery to me because I'm pretty sure that I had a jar of it. Uh, well, I don't know. I had a jar of special Atta Gear Flake. This is Margate, by the way. I'm not going to open it tin to show it, but that's um, what Margate looks like. So it's a pretty fine cut um, blend, but it tastes good. So if you can't get Penzance, I would definitely urge you to consider Margate. So, in terms of um, Penzance, if you can't get a Penzance, it's worth trying to get some Germains. Um, there are some English sites that will send to America, not many, but there are one or two. And um, you can get special Atta Gear Flake often. Um, also, it's hard to get, and a lot of the time it is out of stock, but it is probably more attainable than Penzance. So that's one option. That's, um, that's the Margate tin, that's what Margate looks like. Another option is this. This is Jermaine's Royal Jersey uh, Original Latakia. Um, this is a very sweet um, sort of Oriental forward Latakia blend, English blend. But again, it's if, if you're looking for a high quality English tobacco, this one also difficult to get but not as difficult as Penzance. It's definitely worth trying to get some of that. Um, what else can I recommend to you? And obviously in America there's no shortage of blends. Um, as you might know I've recently come on to Bulk and Blue and I really, this is really a fantastic tobacco. Um, you know a lot of people get put off by the uh, tin note from McLennan blends, the, the, the vinegary uh, kind of aroma, but on this particular one it's a lovely, smooth, sweet, fragrant um, Latakia blend. Highly, highly recommend it. If you can't get this, this is readily available in America. Um, just get some of this stuff, you'll love it. If you like English, you'll like that. If you're looking for a really heavy lat hit, then maybe not, because it's quite smooth um, and relatively mild. Anyway, so coming back to the original question, what do you do if you want to get Pizzazz, you don't want to get any of these others, how do you go about it? And I'll tell you what I did. I did all the normal stuff, I hunted around websites, spent hours online, and I, it didn't help me. Unless you want to pay a fortune for it, obviously you could do that, but I wouldn't advise it because it just encourages people to, to, to put high prices on it. So what you can do is as follows. Rather than just hunting online, build up a relationship with the B&M, your B&M, your local B&M. If, you, if you've got one in short distance or in driving distance, spend some time in the shop, build up a relationship, let, get them to know you, Buy some product if you can, if you can afford it, and there's other stuff that you want to get anyway. Spend some time and spend some money in the shop. And um, you, you get to know somebody, they'll get to know your face, you get to know somebody's face there in the shop. You build up a relationship. When they get a delivery and if they, if they stock Esoterica tobacco, 
you ask them please set a bag aside for me or give me a shout when it comes in and they'll do that most shops that i've been in touch with in america will do that if they stock this range or any tobacco in, in fact that is really in my experience the only way to do it i've been successful with um, various things and not necessarily penzance but in um, acquisitions that I want, whether it's pipes, whether it's cigars, tobaccos, um, in places like Boswell's, LJ Peretti, Strauss, um, in at least those three shops I've had success in getting stuff that I've been seeking um, because of the relationship that I've built up. I speak to them, I email them, I, I um, get on their website, I send them messages and they just get to know you after a while. Yes, I have spent uh, money on their, in their shop, but you know, if you want to build up a relationship and they feel that you're a customer that they want to um, give good customer service to, you've got to spend some time and effort. And that's for me, that's been the only way. And I've pretty much managed to get whichever to tobacco that I want to get in that way. Um, and uh, my my seller does contain some difficult uh, to obtain tobaccos, and that's how I've done it. So that is my best advice to you is you've got to invest some time and effort in building up a relationship with somebody in a B&M. And if you can do it across two or three, your chances are multiplied by three. So that's my advice. Um, and uh, I hope it helps somebody out there to get their... Uh, um, what's the word? Anyway, get the tobacco that they're seeking. I wish you all a fantastic weekend and catch you on the next one.